He learned that the secret to having God's favor, the secret to victory over all the powers of hell, is simple and available to anyone who desires it. And that is simply to seek God with everything that is in you. He said, I will seek God with all that is in my heart. He commands Judah to seek the Lord God of your fathers. And then his own testimony was this. Because we have sought the Lord our God, we have sought Him. He has given us rest on every side, so they built and prospered. Because we have sought God, He Himself has put everything order in order. Because when you pray, God straightens out your home. God straightens out your business. He straightens out everything. There's a divine order that comes to the church, that comes to the home when you're seeking the face of Almighty God. Divine order. But praying men, godly men, those who seek God with all their heart, are not immune to attacks from the enemy. And an enemy attacks, rises against this godly man. The largest invading army recorded in history. The largest in history. A million man army of Ethiopians come against him. 300 iron chariots. The battle was set in the great valley. And the Bible says in verse 10, Asa went out against him. He went out against this army. Asa had no other war plan but to pray and seek God. None whatsoever. No other plan. No other strategy but then to seek the face of God. Now, where did this man get this, this spirit of rest that was upon him? He went into this battle without turmoil. The Bible said he rested in the Lord. There was a calm, there was a peace. Where did he get it? He set his heart to seek the Lord. He was a man of prayer. And folks, he did it in the time when God said there's no war. There, there was peace in the land. There was prosperity. They were building. Everything was peaceful. There was no emergency. There was no crisis. Oh, many, many of God's people pray in crises. Every time trouble comes, I run to the secret place and cry out to God. That's fine. That's all in good order. But folks, the man who really wins the battle, the man who's ready to face anything that the devil throws out of hell, is the man or woman that's been studying God when there's no crisis, when everything is well, when there seems to be blessing and prosperity. That man is diligent before God and seeks his face. And that's what Asa did. He sought the Lord with all of his heart. And then we on the hilltop and he sees a million man army. He is not coward. A praying man is as bold as a lion. There's no demon, there's no devil in hell that'll scare him. If he's praying in faith. So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa. He said, Asa, check your chronicles. Check from the very beginning. Every time people had their homes messed up. Every time there were problems. Every time the enemy tried to come and destroy the plan of God. If they would fall on their face and return to the secret closet. If they would learn to call on me once again, I was found on them every time. Not one time did I fail to respond to those who set their hearts to seek me. Look at history. But what God desires more than anything, and I think what blesses the heart of God in heaven, is that those in their good times when all is well, they're not parked in front of a television set watching some filth. They're not foolishly laughing at some program. They are taking special loving time alone with God. They're praying for their families, building up faith for the hour of tribulation. They're seeking the face of God, and God is bringing divine order on all sides. And they know the secret of it. This man, who at one time would never make a move without seeking God, this man who was so godly, had such faith in the Lord, looks at this enemy at his gate. He doesn't even counsel with the Lord this time. Doesn't even go to the Lord. Not one mention of prayer was seeking the face of God. And we find him now setting out his own plan. He goes into the temple and he strips it all of its gold and silver. And he sends an ambassador to the king of Syria. He didn't need God this time. He had his own plan. But God was incensed. 
God was totally displeased because he had not trusted in the Lord his God. You see, he just succeeded in his plan. He had lost his faith. He was no longer a man of prayer. And now he's doing his own thing, his own way, trying to work out his problems by himself. The prophet was saying, you just missed it, Asa. Our God was going to destroy all of Syria and Israel combined. There was going to be a war. It all been planned and you aborted God's plan. Now I'm going to tell you something. God has a plan for your life. God has something wonderful in store for you if you'll seek Him. But you can abort that. You can change all of that like Asa did. God had a wonderful plan. I'll tell you, if you knew what God had in store for you, if you seek Him, you'd be so rejoicing you couldn't contain yourself right now. There would be such joy and faith rise up in your heart, the good things God has. Jesus, forgive me for neglecting you, for not seeking you. With all my heart, all my strength, I truly repent. And right now set your heart.